So let's get real and talk about pee pads. Yeah, I said pee pads. If you're not, uh, uh, you know, I had a kid, or if you don't have a sensitive bladder, then this thread video situation that's going to be happening is not for you. I just want to talk about pee pads because I have an adventure with pee pads every day. As you know, I had a son uh, 13 months ago, and uh, I already had a bladder issue to begin with. Apparently a nose issue, too. Yeah, and uh, so now after having a baby, I cannot go a second without a pee pad. So let's just say, let's start off with the first story. Yesterday, I went to the OBGYN. No, now I went to the Student Health Center to get a yearly checkup because I had a baby. And I figured after a year, they probably want to see how the pipes are working. So I went and I saw and I went and met a doctor and I can't remember her name but I remember she had red, red hair and she's beautiful and she said she ha- was the fastest pap in the West. This new day looks so like you know whatever. I felt like you couldn't hit the bottom because I kept adjusting. You know it was her assistant that was doing it. You know because it's a learning school. You know whatever. Uh, so so I when I take off everything, I make sure to hide the pee pad in the underwear and the pants. Right? Good. Right? Whatever. I make sure that I put the pee pad on. I, you know, I think I do. And, and I leave, you know. I didn't bring a backup with me, but I had just put that one on. Okay, awesome, cool, whatever. Go throughout my day. Go to, uh, go to class. Go to the bathroom right after the exam. I had an exam four hours later. Uh, go to the bathroom and for the first time since the ex- examination at one o'clock. And, uh, there's no pee pad. Resting in the cradle. There's not, there's nothing there. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, I'm start thinking, did I leave it on the floor at the, at the doctor? Oh my gosh, someone had to pick that up. Oh, they think I'm disgusting. Oh my gosh, my life is over. Not really. But kind of like that in my head. And, uh, for some reason, I started looking around the underwear. Maybe, like, I was, it was, like, hidden in a fold. I mean, maybe there's some folds in there that a pee pad, a giant pee pad can hide in. I don't know. But let me tell you, it was in my fucking... I'm not, I'm not gonna cuss. Sorry. That was explicit. explicit. It was in my sock. That's right. It was in my stinking sock. Sorry about the cuss word once again. My sock. My... I don't even know. I'm wearing knee-high socks, uh, uh, similar to these, you know, like, you know, whatever, they go up, they go up, all the way up. Oh, sorry. Wearing two pairs of pants today. And it was sitting right there at the top in my sock, kind of tucked in my sock a little bit. I don't even know how it happened. What if that would have fell out? In my exam, we're in chemistry lecture. There's like 70 students in that class, and a pee pad just falls out of my leg. Let me tell you something. I think that pee pads should have wings. Yeah. Let's start making them more like, you know, pad pads, because that's what they pretty much are. So, this is going to be my life with pee pads.